Carnival. Rue Morgue Dark Carnival. I know, so I just don't say that. You know, it just, I don't know. It just seems more authentic. You just like going over the top with it. Well, when I like to go on top of a lot of things. Talk about going over the top of things. <laughs> we, we, went, we, went, we got a little uh, carried away with uh, the next guest you're about to see, which he was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, jeez. Beyond. beyond. <laughs> oh, my lord. Uh, from zombie to uh, comedic philosopher, <laughs> you will never know what's going to come out of this man's mouth next, and we love him for it. Uh, but then again, let you be the judge. But he started out by um, having a little fun with Sean, and I decided to jump in and have a little fun with him, but he turned it around and, well, let's just say we all got a little carried away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take a look. Check it out. It's time to get your geek on. It's Two Geeks TV. With your hosts, Victor and Sean. Keep on geeking on. Once again, this is the S Mac of Two Geeks TV at the 2016 Dark Carnival with Eugene A. Clark. Eugene, yes. pleasure to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you too. Now, we all know uh, part of the Land of the Dead series, everybody knows that. Uh, so, do me a favor. I'd like to ask everybody uh, the same question always in the beginning of my uh, interviews and tell me about the very first film that you've ever started. Ever starred in or ever worked in? I want to say ever worked in. How about you start? Your very first film. F film meaning feature film or for television or just the first paid pro professional job? Let's go first paid. How's that? First I'm going to go take it right back then. The first paid professional gig uh, union was, um, I don't know the title. Go to imdb.com and look it up. Okay. <laughs> But uh, it was starring, it was starring Art Hendel. Yeah, it was starring Art Hendel, and um, I forget what it was called, but it was starring Art Hendel. Do you remember anything that you uh, uh, done in the movie or anything like that? I played a football player, ah. uh, which at that time I was a football player and an actor. I was an actor before I was a football player, but I was a football player, and. Uh, I played for the Toronto Argonauts back in the day, a couple of years, and uh, what was the name of it? it was for, I think it was for NBC, but Art Hendel, Canadian boy, was the star, and I was the ball player on it, and that's what all I remember. <laughs> um, oh, 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 Nine Heat, now that one, I remember Nine Heat, but that was, okay, but really, go to imdb.com, man, I don't remember this stuff, that was a long time ago, man, that was 1976, did I say that out loud, 1976, was it, or 1978, one of those times. Okay, if it was Nine Heat, it'd probably be about 78. But no, oh, no well, Nine Heat, that was 1981, I think, that's when it started, was it? I think so. Anyway, sorry for messing up your opening. That's okay. I like the people keeping me on their toes. Yes. Yeah. But two minute warning. Two minute warning. Uh, two minute warning was the first feature film. To answer your question, it was two minute warning, and I was so excited. I told my friends I'm in this movie, two minute warning. I played a football player at that time again, as well. And I told my friends, and uh, <laughs> our scenes, the only scenes they kept were in the. Um, the control booth mm. on the TV monitor. So I'm sitting there, I'm saying, that, that's me, I, it's, that was it. I know the feeling. I, I myself, I worked as an actor in two different films, uh, an actor, sorry, uh, an extra yeah. in two uh, films myself. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink. Ah, there you go. Yeah. 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 So. Know the feeling. Now, as we're coming, yes. hi, boo boo. Now, as we're coming up to that's a, little, that's a lovely little boy right there. Uh, uh, he, he has some treats and he's happy and he's singing. So, 
We're being serenaded. Yes. You gotta love it. So as we're coming up to now. Yes. Any upcoming future uh, projects you'll be working on? Uh, well, I've done a bunch of auditions, so I hope there will be. Um, uh, there's a movie called Look Again, written and directed by Daniel O'Connor. Um, that was that was at um, Kingsway Theater a couple of weeks ago. It opened. Okay. Um, Born to Be Blue, starring Ethan Hawke. I don't know if it's still out, but I know that came out over the holidays. Um, around was it January? That was a tip. Okay. Uh, it's got really good, really good reviews. Uh, um, not my part, but I mean, I have a nice part, but you know, it's not that big. But it was a, it's a great movie. Um, there's a TV series called The Art of More. In the U.S., it's on Crackle. It's free. Yep. Uh, Sony's Crackle Network. In Canada, it's on Show Me. So if you have uh, Shaw or one of those kind of, you can get it. On Sh you can get it. Um, and what else? Go to imdb.com and you'll find out what's coming up <laughs> or what's out there right now. imdb.com. That's the movie database. Why we need IMDb? We got our encyclopedia right here. Well, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I remember everything. Yes, sir. The cameraman wants to say something. Oh, no. Yeah, I want to say something. Oh, I'm the second geek here. <laughs> well, geek in training. I'm the geek in training. You didn't mention that he was in Tech War. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm looking up right now IMDb since he mentioned it so much. Tech War, Twilight Zone, Alpha Hitchcock Presents, uh, Millennium, um, um, Stephen King's uh, The Wall. Keep going, brother. Sue Thomas, FBI. FBI, winging it. Um, I mentioned Night Heat. Uh, we mentioned Tech War. Side Effect. Uh, oh, uh, what's the one from that was in Mexico? It was called... Uh, well, I'm not even at that point. I'm at uh, your upcoming projects, The Art of More and Born to be Blue. Right, we talked about that. Anytime. Look again right there. Oh, 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 oh. Um, on Vogue Christmas. On Vogue Christmas. I came out two, two Christmas ago on Lifetime. The brother <laughs> was brother was lean. Brother was lean. And, uh, oh, yeah. Born to be, I mean, an En Vogue Christmas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to hang out with En Vogue? Oh, hey. I was married to one of the lead singers. So you got it then? I don't know what you mean by that. Well, you know that song, Never Gonna Get It, Never Gonna Get It? I was just trying to make a joke out of yeah, that I song. Know. I, I met her husband. He's six foot four. He played. Uh, he played in the National Baseball League for like fourteen years. That's a big brother. No, I didn't get nothing. <laughs> this was very professional. Okay, very professional. Uh, uh, watch yourself. Okay, <laughs> don't make me hurt you on camera. No, man. Sorry, it was just a play on words on one of the one of the songs. That's all. That's don't, all. don't don't get hurt. I am. Yeah. Okay. So what what else you got there? You got a lot of stuff on there. I know, brother. I'll tell you. You got remedy. Yeah. L.A. Complex. Oh oh oh! Right there. L.A. The L.A. Complex. Check it out. L.A. Complex, right. And what's the L.A. Complex about? Man, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> we got to check it out. It's a, it's a, check it out. It's, they're um, Canadian actors living in L.A. in like an apartment complex. There's lots of drama that goes on. I played uh, the father of Caldrick. Caldrick is um, a hip-hop, a black hip-hop hip -hop star who happens to, um, uh, he's gay, but he... He tries to tell his father, but he never made because his father's in prison. Uh, but he's a, and there's all these dynamics around that because he's a hip hop artist being gay, and uh, it's a really good series. Shot really well. Um, he's just about to tell me when I'm in the hospital though, and I think, oh, I, I shouldn't tell you all that. But it's really good. Now it wouldn't matter to me. I, I wish I wish they had written the part where he told me. And I simply say, you're my boy. As long as, and then I want to say, let me meet your man. And then I'll say, look, if you hurt my son, I'm going you up. In other words, he'll be lying down next to you. Well, 
Well, I would have been live at that point. Man, this guy thinks he's a comedian. <laughs> I, I do what I can. I'm not that funny. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You, know, you, you, you catch me off guard. I like that. I like that. You're messing with me. I'm going to hurt this dude. Man. I'm going to tell you. Hurt this man. Hey, Sean, come back over here. <laughs> you just walked in and took over. <laughs> in other words, go to imdb.com. You'd be surprised what the brother have. On yeah, check out IMDb. He's got a pretty impressive uh, list here. Uh, yeah, you you got a, you got everything here. A majority rules. Dolan's Cadillac. Dolan's uh, Cadillac. Yeah, I played the African in that. Uh, talk to me. Talk, talk to me. Resurrecting talk to the me. champ. Oh, Stir of echoes. Yeah. It's locked, man. Locked. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. Land of the dead. You're gonna you're gonna have to take the day off work to look at his resume, man. Well, not look at it to watch all the movies, maybe. Oh no, you're gonna need at least a couple of years off to watch all these movies. There's a there's a good listing oh, here. Nine Heat was 90, 96 episodes. Uh, yeah. Hold on. One hundred nineteen projects. Yeah. Uh, hold on. My man saying, "Come on, man. Come on back. Get your mic." He's like. <laughs> the most unfortunate thing about this whole entire scenario is the fact that I am supposed to be the one who does the interviews because I'm the one who has the voice. Well. No. <sighs> what I got to say is this: all you interviewers, you come up here and you ask us. What are you in? Do your homework. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he's saying. Do your homework. People say, did you do anything other than Land of the Dead? And I'm like, you're really going to ask me that question? Go to imdb.com. <laughs> uh, uh, did you do anything before Land of the Dead? You're going to really ask me that question? Go to imdb.com. <laughs> but brother, I've been around a little bit. Okay. Now, my poor wounded pride on this particular situation. Now, it's, it's not even your pride. <laughs> even professional, professional, like, TV people do the same thing. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I want to say, man, do your homework. Go look at IMDb before you ask me these silly questions. I'm, I'm a stand-up comedian, so I'm, I'm playing, sort of. <laughs> so, so, so don't you guys say, well, we will never ask you another question. That's not the, my mom, all I'm saying is, go to imdb.com. You, you should say, I hear, I see you sing and dance. You played horse in The Full Monty. Man, that's a whole bunch of stuff. The Full Monty, you know? I played horse in The Full Monty. You should say, you were Mufasa in The Lion King? Ooh, that big voice, it sounds almost operatic. I didn't know you had that in you, brother. That's all I'm saying. Do your homework. So I'm not talking to just you only, and that means you kids. Get off the phone, go do your homework. I know you, some of your butts in summer school because you wouldn't do your homework during the year. If your son and child come home all year and say, we don't have any homework, that means they ain't going to go nowhere because <laughs> they won't. Oh, that's right. No, they graduate them now. Yeah. Right. They have to graduate them because they don't want them to feel bad. That's fine. Graduate them so they don't feel bad. They'll feel bad when they can't get a job. Or the one they want. I fully agree to this particular situation since I'm, uh, as we're talking, yeah. fully observed my daughter sitting there on the floor, currently just doing nothing more than flipping through her phone. But, exactly. but we're not, we're not going to try and yeah. point that out at all. Will we, Shane? Yeah. No, no. Now she's looking up. Okay, never mind. Is your daughter here? That's my daughter there. Okay, well, she, she's babysitting. Oh, she oh this baby. is your baby. That's my baby. You know what? When you touched his face with your hand, I almost said, people, don't go up to somebody's baby and put your, put, you, you grab their hands, you put their hands on their faces. Nobody know, most guys don't wash their hands. The poor child gets sick, but that was your son. Oh, all right. Good looking boy, man. Oh, thank you. All right. That's your daughter too? That's my daughter too. Really? Dang, man, you make good looking kids. Well, well, what can I say? Now, see, the comedian in me was going to say, what happened to you? But see, this, I'm not on stage. That's, we just, <laughs> we just playing here. Beautiful baby, though. Damn, man. Yeah, well, like I said, it's my wife. It's your wife? Yeah. Well, you pick good. You pick well. Nice looking kids. And, and listen, the brother's doing a great job. What's your call sign? Oh, this is Two Geeks TV, my friend. This is Two Geek TV today. Hamilton, Ontario. What's today's date? I completely forgot. Today is, I almost said April. It's June 9th. 
July 9th. It's July 9th. July 9th. <laughs> 2016. I haven't we're, had we're much sleep. We're both stuck on this but one. Yeah, I haven't had much sleep. And we're at Dark Carnival at the Hamilton Convention Center. Peace out. The brothers doing a great job. Once again, S back. Two Geeks TV. Keep on geeking on. Keep on geeking on.